Listen, it is the gaslighting for me. I had so much hope for you, Kenneth and Brittany. What happened? Y'all, when I tell you my heart is broken over this, my heart is breaking. Yes, I had some questions as to whether or not this couple will ulti would ultimately make it. However, they are not going to make it, y'all. They are not going to make it. Now, let me tell you where the gaslighting comes in. Kim, not you saying, I feel a spark. I still feel like we have a connection. It's on you. Now, if you don't feel that way towards me, then you should let me know. And then I'll deal with it. By the end of that conversation, I was so confused. I didn't even know how to spell my own name. Not he just flipped it all the way over to make her feel like she was the one that wasn't into him. I think she was just as confused as I was. Ken did an entire switch up as soon as they moved into that apartment. He was not interested. He was not engaged. He had distanced himself. This is classic push and pull. Ken meant that he was going to stay stuck on that phone, glued to those devices, and completely detached from Brittany. I really do believe that Ken started getting in his head. Now, mind you, I do understand that there is an infatuation stage where people are in the honeymoon now, usually that might last at least about six months to a year. My goodness. But this process is sped up quite a bit. So their honeymoon phase lasted mm, maybe five days. Nonetheless, you know, people present their truer selves as time goes on. But sir, can we be for real? You completely pushed Brittany away. I would like to officially retract my previous statement that this was the most mature couple and that Ken was older than his age because his age of 25 is really showing up here. I am really disappointed in his lack of maturity and that's just it.